Hey Gemini, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot and this is your general love reading for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for November. We're going to take a look. We're going to see what's going on with you guys. If it resonates, be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Your bonus extended reading is up on Vimeo if you're interested in checking that out. I'm available for personal love readings as well. I also do Etsy message reading. So if you want a quick turnaround, two to four days, it's a great affordable option. All right, let's jump right in. Gemini, what's going on? What is the challenge here for Geminis? What is the challenge here for Gemini? The wheel. Okay. Something happening by fate, destined to happen. We're going to see what kind of change is coming in for you guys, but it looks like something here is moving in your favor. It looks like things are going to be working out for you pertaining to love. Let's see, Gemini. The current energy. Ooh, the two cups. We're starting off on a right page. Um, there's a really strong, strong spiritual connection. I'm thinking someone here that you're thinking of, someone that's on your mind, someone that you are maybe um, trying to come into union with. Okay, It does look like there's a really strong attraction and a desire to be with this person. It's telling me that it's mutual. Um, we also have the Seven of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. So the challenge, it looks like it's to hold on to something. It, I'm getting like, if you really want it, you will fight for me. If you really want this, you will show me. So with the Seven of Wands, it's really about standing your ground, protecting what you want, fighting for what you want, being clear about what you want, being intentional, right? And so some of you guys, you could be dealing with someone who wants to show you that they do love you. Maybe they haven't shown you, okay, in the past. I also feel with the Four of Pentacles that there's someone here who wants to hold on to what they have with you. I'm getting like, no, you're mine, Gemini. You're not getting away. You're mine. So I feel like there's someone who um, may be willing, okay, or maybe showing you that they actually care. Um, they may take such actions towards you in effort to hold on to what they have. Now, in the past, we have the Three of Swords in reverse, the Sun, and the Knight of Cups. Someone here in the past um, here was healing. This could have been you, Gemini. Maybe you guys were healing from some kind of hurt, heartbreak. Um, I see that you've been really doing well. The sun is indicating of clarity, hope, um, peace, healing, right? Happiness. A lot of you guys is telling me that you may have, um, may have been someone here that came into your life recently, Gemini. It could be... Um, a new love person to offer, okay, romantic connection. The Knight of Cups is telling me that someone here definitely came into your life recently and offered you love, offered their cup, may have even told you that, hey, I like you, Gemini, okay? Maybe it was like a secret admirer. Um, some of you guys, you could be dating someone who's offering your cup. They're saying, hey, I'm thinking about you, Gemini. I really like what we have. Um, the sun is telling me that there's someone here that really thinks highly of you. I'm getting a lot of high vibrational energy, a lot of positivity from this connection. Um, I feel like this is someone that is very optimistic about what they have with you and they may want some kind of forward movement. The wheel is here. So let's see what's on your mind. Beautiful. On your mind is the seven of swords. Some of you guys are self-sabotaging. Five of wands and the three of wands. I feel a lot of you guys, Gemini, there's something that you're having to move away from. Maybe you're in a process of moving away from someone. It could be a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries, or an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm getting a strong energy that there was some kind of like competition or maybe you are in this place where it's like you want something, but you also I'm getting someone is competing for your love or there could be someone else that um, it's on your mind and it's causing some kind of distraction. OK, and therefore someone else has to compete for your attention, Gemini. That's what I'm hearing. Um, now, the seven of swords could be someone in your life, maybe in the past, maybe you didn't trust this person. Maybe they lied. Maybe they cheated on you or tricked you for something. A lot of you guys, you may be challenged to have to let that go in order for a new relationship to come in um, and for it to be successful, right? Don't bring in that energy into this new relationship. So if you guys are meeting someone else, be sure to leave that at the doorstep because a lot of you guys are trying to move forward. You want progression in your love life, right? You don't want to take steps back. So let's see what's in the foundation, in the foundation, we have the King of Swords, Gemini, that's your energy. Someone's thinking of you. Four of Wands in reverse, the Three of Cups, and ooh, the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Someone here, Gemini, um, is thinking about you because you're all in their energy. I feel like this is someone who may want to come together with you, celebrate, let's date, let's, let's have fun. 
Okay, this is the energy of sharing someone's cup, wanting to come together in some kind of union, okay? I'm not certain who this is, but it does look like there may have been some some issues maybe regarding balance in this connection. Maybe there was some um, something here where you felt they weren't able to give you what you needed. You felt like you were overextending yourself to some degree. The four wands and verse could be creating some kind of imbalance within the connection. Maybe it didn't work. I feel like this is someone who's been out in a cold. Okay, maybe they haven't been talking to you. Maybe there's been some distance between you and this person. It could be a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn. I feel someone here wants your attention. Someone here wants your love. Someone here wants to offer love, wants to express themselves to you. All right, let's see. Someone may have not been ready in the past. It could have been like a home domestic issue. Okay, maybe someone was going through a breakup or a separation, a divorce. Coming into the near future, we have the Seven of Cups in reverse. We have the Page of Pentacles. There's something here being offered to you for sure, Gemini. Um, the Page of Pentacles could be, you know, it could be a message. It could be an actual tangible item. It could be a date. Um, but I feel like there's something here regarding you getting out of this place of confusion and maybe getting clarity on the matter, maybe getting clear on this person's intentions, okay? So let's see, Gemini, what other messages we have for you. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Clear messages for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, why is the Two of Cups here? What is this Two of Cups about for Gemini? I'm getting this is a really new, this is a new relationship. Okay, some of you guys, it could just be old one that you're protecting. Um, the Six of Swords in verse with the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like there's a challenge right now. The current energy is you're moving away from some kind of conflict in your life or in a relationship. I feel like whoever this person is, Gemini, the reason um, they're making effort to move away from some kind of challenge is because they want to grow with you. They want to build upon this connection with you. This is someone who's like, I want to spend time with you, Gemini. I want to get to know who you are. I want to know what you like. Um, I want to be all up in your energy, right? That seven of pentacles is like someone here wanting to invest to see where this can go. Why is the seven of wands here? Seven of Wands is clarified by the King of Pentacles and the King of Swords. Some of you guys, it could be a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn, could be any sign. But I feel like this is definitely someone here that um, the Seven of Wands, that you're wanting to protect this connection. You may be wanting more from this person. I feel like they have a lot to offer, but maybe in the past they haven't been able to offer it. Okay, we're going to see. Uh, four of Pentacles, Three of Wands, and the Two of Swords. Someone has to make a decision. Either you or this person, someone's been in their head trying to make a head of a heart decision on how to move forward. And I feel like this decision is necessary in order for something to take off, in order for something to move to the next level. Because I feel like maybe you are experiencing some kind of um, stagnancy, okay, in this connection after some kind of conflict. And it's telling me that in order for things to really push forward, someone has to make that first move. And I'm getting a waiting energy. Someone's been waiting on the other person to take action. Waiting, waiting, waiting for them to uh, make this decision, okay? So that's what's the current energy. In a recent past, we have the Three of Swords. What's this Three of Swords about? Something in the past really disappointed you. The Nine of Cups in verse and the Five of Cups in verse. You were very emotional about it. This is something that was really draining you. I feel like you had to really cut ties with it because it brought a lot of sadness to your life, Gemini. I feel like this is someone... Um, in your life who did not meet your needs, okay, emotionally. And there was a lot of regrets about something here that you may have emotionally gotten involved in. But I see the sun card. Why is the sun? It could be a Leo you're connecting with. The sun is clar clarifying the devil and the six of cups in reverse. It could be a Leo or a, again, Capricorn, right? So Gemini, I feel like in the past, there's something here that um, you may have been ignoring. Maybe you've been trying really hard to move on from someone, someone here that you have this incredible connection with. I'm getting like obsession with, um, maybe some kind of codependency between you and this person. Some of you guys, you may feel like this person's toxic isn't good for you. But I also feel like there's some kind of clarity on a past person a situation that maybe you've been trying to let go of the six of cups came out in the verse this is someone here that you think about them and it's like no i shouldn't think about them i shouldn't be letting this person go i shouldn't this is a connection i feel like could be healing maybe there's someone coming to you or from the past that wants to heal this connection that you feel tied to just as much as they feel tied to you knight of cups is here Knight of Cups is clarified by the Page of Cups in verse with the Star in the verse. I feel a lot of you guys, you gave up on someone in the past, Gemini. You gave up on them because this is someone who would not admit their wrongs. They were not willing to apologize. They were not willing to be emotionally open and available. But I also see this offer coming in with the Knight of Cups. So it's very possible that if this is not a new person, this is someone from the past who is ready to offer an actual love offer. Maybe in the past they wasn't willing to. They held back being Aquarius, okay? And I 
feel like you forgot about them. But I see, Gemini, you're moving forward. Why is the Three of Wands here? There could be some challenges with moving forward. But what's this Three of Wands about? Yeah. Gemini, you spend time doing the work. You've been going within. The Magician card with the Hermit in reverse could be a Virgo. could be your energy, Gemini, right? I feel a lot of you guys, Gemini, you've been really wanting to move forward, elevate your life, right? You've been wanting to broaden your horizons. You've been doing the work, going within, disconnecting from people who don't serve you. And I feel like there's, a, there's an energy of forward movement. The Magician card is about you creating your destiny, your future, what you want in love, right? You guys are very intentional. I like that word. It keeps coming up. Now, tell me more about the five of wands. There's some conflict that may be appearing in your life. It could be related to an incident where someone here was dishonest or not trustworthy. Five of wands is clarified by the lovers and the queen of pentacles. Yeah, it could be someone here that maybe you are seeking a commitment with. There's some kind of challenge regarding this person. Maybe there's a decision you're having to make about them, which is creating some kind of conflict in your life. I'm getting someone is definitely coming to you and maybe competing for your love. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini. I feel like this is someone who's competing and wants you to make a decision about them. But I, I just don't think this is someone that you trust very much. Now, let me see um, what's going on. The Three of Cups is here. There's maybe someone here who wants to come to union with you or date you. Why is the Three of Cups? The Emperor in reverse, the Seven of Wands in reverse with the Moon. It could be a Pisces. I feel like there's a lack of direction with someone here. I'm getting that you stopped expecting this person to take action. You stopped expecting this person to do the right thing to show up. Gemini, there's someone in your environment who definitely wants to come together with you with the Three of Cups energy. They still very much care about you. I feel like this is someone who acts very secretive, who has maybe some things they haven't told you. Maybe they have been repressing their emotions for you. Maybe you don't know how they really feel about you, Gemini. It's very quite possible because I feel like there's been no movement with this person maybe there's been no change there's been no plans or no strategy on how things can um move forward so i feel like you almost forgot about this person why is the king of swords someone may have something to say to you gemini with that king of swords energy the queen of cups in reverse Ooh, with the queen of swords in reverse what's going on with these queens let's get one more card Someone here was very patient, but I feel like there's something here that someone may be telling you, Gemini, or there may be a conversation about other people. Maybe they were involved with other people. I'm getting there was a lot of other people involved in some way. Could be family, could be friends, okay? Could be a romantic interest, could be coworkers. But I feel like someone lost their patience for someone. Maybe they were taking their time. There's something about someone taking their time and someone saying, you know what, I'm done. Why is the five of pentacles in reverse? Someone wants to hear to get out of the cold with you. Six of Pentacles in reverse with Three of Pentacles. There's someone here that I, I just, again, don't think you're paying them much mind. You don't give them much attention or your effort at this point because there was some imbalances. There was something here where they weren't reciprocating. I see this person, Gemini, um, appearing in your life. They want to get out of the cold. They miss you. They miss your presence, your touch, your companionship. They want to collaborate with you. This is someone who wants to get on the same page. Um, Let's find out more about the Page of Pentacles. They're coming in to offer something tangible. It could be a conversation, a text. Four of Cups, the Knight of Cups, yeah, and the Two of Pentacles. There's definitely here, um, Gemini, someone here who feels they've missed an opportunity here with you with the Four of Cups. There's a lot of sadness. There's a lot of regrets about a situation here, and they've been going back and forth about it. Now, I also feel that, Gemini, you're going to have to sort out the confusion um, because I think you're going to be very, very confused when this person comes in. You may have to weigh your options if this is someone you want to move forward with. The Knight of Cups is definitely an offer of love. Gemini, I care about you. I think about you. I've never stopped thinking of you. So there's something here coming in that you are not going to expect, I think, for the majority of you guys. Let me clarify the wheel. What is this for change movement coming in for Gemini? The chariot and the hangman. So a lot of you guys, your challenge is to make a decision to get out of this hangman energy. You may spend some time, um, Gemini, going within, assessing situation, looking at things from a different perspective. But it's telling me that eventually you're going to have to take charge on the matter regarding a situation. Um, the wheel is telling me that it is going to bring some kind of forward change and movement in your life. Um, of course, depending on which decision that you make. But there's something about you taking charge. You stepping in that power, moving forward. Um, and some of you guys could be done with a Pisces or a Cancer. Okay, and that is your challenge. So that is what I'm seeing, Gemini. I know that was a lot um, in a little amount of time, but if this resonates, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload these readings for you. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. All right. Your bonus extended reading, How Does Your Person Feel for November, is up on Vimeo. All right, take care.